Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. So without further ado, let's look into what's going on for Gemini. Looks like you're opening up with um, Queen of Cups energy. So that sometimes can be a water sign that's involved, um, which would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or it could just be someone who um, embodies the archetype of Queen of Cups. And Queen of Cups is someone who is compassionate. She's um, often very intuitive, sometimes even psychic. And she do she operates from the heart. So she always considers the heart um, of the matter. She always considers people's feelings, people's um, emotions. And when she shows up, it means that there's a water emotional uh, element present. It's interesting though because in this card she's facing away from where these two people are going. This card is a card, this is Six of Swords and it's a card of recovery, of healing. So this card depicts someone helping someone else out. Now whether that's you helping someone else or someone else helping you or you helping yourself, Queen of Cups is kind of separate from that. So you may be going through some type of healing that Queen of Cups is not involved with, or there may be a separation away from a Queen of Cups person um, that that is part of your healing. At, at any rate, you are going in a different direction from her. So whether this means like dis... Um, separating from like a mother figure or separating from a spouse or separating from someone like this could even be you know having lived with your mother and then leaving on a new journey or separating from the mother it's almost like she looks over the seas and this is someone journeying out over the sea so i'm kind of getting like wistful mother energy here this could also be like a sister an aunt or, you know, even like a counselor, someone who's got that Queen of Cups energy. But because there's two oceans depicted, and she's looking out over the open ocean, and this person is journeying out towards the horizon, I'm kind of, I'm getting a separation from this Queen of Cups person. Um, I also see that there may be some way of leaving the home, or there's injustice regarding the home. Um, so Gemini, if you're considering anything about the home or the castle or the thing that was established, this is where the relationships happens. This is a number four, so it's it's security. There appears to be some sort of in, injustice regarding the home or that you're seeing something as unjust because justice represents, you know, a verdict being drawn, um, a decision that was made or is being made. And I see both of these in reverse. So this could either be from your perspective, or this could be what's actually happening. Um, you're viewing the home in an injustice together, however that's showing up for you. But you may be going out and traveling anyway. There's some way in which you are either traveling or recovering or healing regarding the home and regarding maybe an injustice uh, to do with the home. So that's what's going on for you, Gemini. And it looks like you and the Queen of Cups person are, uh, there's like an ocean between you, even though you may be missing each other. Then towards the middle of the month, I see this is Nine of Swords. And swords are represent your element, Gemini, which is air. So swords can kind of mean, swords rep represent thoughts, um, ideas, knowledge, experience. With the Nine of Swords, it means almost too many swords. That's You'll see here that there's a, a bound union of fists, and it represents tension and anxiety. Now, when this shows up, it means that there's too much mental activity going on. There's too much anxiety. There's too many, there's, you know, maybe a couple thoughts that need addressing or problems, but you're making it into three times as much. So I call this card sometimes uh, making mountains out of molehills and like just being imprisoned in your own mind. In the Rider Waite, there's a picture of a woman who's in bed. She's safe, she's secure, she's in her own home, but she's got her head in her hands and she's up at night and it really depicts someone who's just fighting themselves. So when this card shows up, be careful that you don't get tangled up in your own mind. Especially regarding this Queen of Cups person, 
and or your close family and friends. It doesn't look like they are super supportive of you right now. Normally three of cups is celebration. It's socializing. It's like your community. It's your family. It could be coworkers, just your, the community that surrounds you. And it's often like like-minded people. So if you're an artist, this could be other artists. If you're a musician, this could be other musicians. You know, people who you view as your, your clan or your tribe. But in the reverse position, sometimes it can mean gossip or it can mean non-support or that you just don't feel like celebrating or socializing. Possibly because you're too in your head and possibly something to do with this um, Queen of Cups person. I show here with these swords, there's some thought that there's, she's a little bit on your mind. Um, even though she's looking in a different direction and may be a source of anxiety and stress for you. Um, I do see that there is a fire sign here, a young fire sign, and the uh, the father or the the loving partner, and then I see also the queen here in reverse. So this is interesting. If you this could be you, Gemini, because this is Queen of Swords, which is an air sign. So she's either Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or it could just be someone who fits the archetype of Queen of Swords, which is someone who is very clear, very direct, speaks her mind, knows where her rules and boundaries are, and is not um, not hesitant to declare those and defend those. She's very witty. She's very good with language. You Geminis are usually pretty good with language because you're a third house. Um, Geminis in the third house, which is about communication and expression. But she's in reverse right now, so she's not feeling on top of her game. She's not feeling like her normal self. And quite frankly, she's in line with Tower and Justice in reverse, which means that there's some sort of explosion happening here. There's some sort of injustice that she is surrounded by. So if, this, if you relate to this, Gemini, try not to over worry or overthink whatever's going on with this man king of cups and this perhaps child or adolescent this could be another young man or a young woman um it seems as though there's air air energy here surrounding the water and the fire people so if that's you gemini realize that you're not seeing eye to eye right now with with this king of cups now king of cups could be um, it could be a father figure. He's usually the compassionate father, the loving partner, um, and he can be a water sign. So it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But he's he's right now. He's even though you may not be seeing eye to eye with him, he's an ally. He can be helpful in this situation. Actually, so is Queen of Cups. Even though you're looking away from this person, they may. They're showing up in the upright position for you, so they still are an ally for you, even though it seems as though there's love, even though there may be separation. Same with the, this guy. If if you are seeing yourself in this Queen of Swords archetype, the two he's looking at you. He's he's in a caring, considerate, compassionate way. And even if you're out of sorts right now, even if you're not feeling like your normal self, there may you may be preoccupied with what's going on here. Injustice. Tower, cataclysm, change. Um, he's he he can be supportive of you. So this could either be like a father, you know, a counselor, a brother, an uncle, a partner, whoever, a boyfriend, whoever this could be. There's a supportive, love-centered man who is there to support you. And there's there's a young child here or a young person that may be kind of causing some of this anxiety or stress. Um, this is Page of Wands, and this is someone who is optimistic, fiery, passionate, uh, very willing, very enthusiastic. Pages are usually the younger side of ourselves or the people that they represent. And otherwise, Page of Wands means just being all of those things, being optimistic, being willing, being ready to start. He's kind of a novice or a rookie. He's um, a beginner, and he's an apprentice, but he's got all the passion passion courage and drive to start he's like L let me start let me let me learn about this let me go let me i'm willing to take it on so but he's in the reverse position right now now this could be male or female but because they are head on with these swords i'm getting the sense that they could be a source of the frustration they could be a source of the nine of 
Nine of Swords here if it's not related to the Queen of Cups, or perhaps it could be both. Um, but I'm just going to say lean on whatever support you can get from a King of Cups type person, because they're really looking out for you right now, Gemini. They're really wanting to help you solve things, even if you're not seeing eye to eye, even if you're seeing things from like a 180. Um, there's someone who's available to help you who, you know, it could be a counselor, could be like a, a religious leader, like a priest or a rabbi or whomever you look to for spiritual advice. This could even be um, like a teacher or someone who is caring, considerate, and compassionate. So look for that person that, that's going to help you. Uh, again, you may not be feeling particularly social, or you may not be feeling a lot of support from your community right now. That's Three of Cups in reverse. You may not feel like celebrating. And it may be hard right now to be patient with things. This is Seven of Coins, which represents um, reflecting upon things. It represents being patient, patient for your um, vines to ripen. This Coins have to do with our values. It also has to do with money. So it's sort of like saying... Are the seeds that you're planting yielding the fruit that you want them to? Like, is all this effort and, and attention and energy that you're putting into your farm or your garden yielding the fruit that you want it to? And Farmer Card, Seven of Coins, says it's time to take a step back and reflect on that, to reassess, to consider, you know, are my successes what I want them to be? Am I planting the seeds that I want to yield fruit from? The fact that it also means having patience. So the fact that it's in the reverse position says it might be hard for you to be patient right now. You might want results right away. You might want um, to see effects sometimes. And you might want to like pick the fruit right now. But if you pick fruit before it's ready and before it's ripened, it can often be sour. So this is sort of like saying you need to take time to wait and reassess and consider things before rushing them or before um, things take time to ripen. And so that's what this card says. It might be hard for you to be patient right now. Um, with this card, King of Wands in reverse, this is someone who's in an authority position who may be a fire sign that is Leo, Aries, or um, Sagittarius. And for right now, they may bring about a change that is out of nowhere, that is sudden and unexpected and that you don't see coming. The reason I say that is that he's in line with Tower and he's looking at Tower and they're both in reverse. So this is this could be like someone coming out of nowhere and taking your job or this could be like a boss that fires you or this could be, um, I'm not trying to scare you, Gemini. I'm just trying to say that this is something that he's involved with, like a, a king of Wands person may act erratically when this comes around. There may be an explosion, something that you didn't see coming, some sort of change, um, because they're not really being themselves that you know them to be. If you know a King of Wands person who is usually very bold, very charismatic, does his does things his own unique way, um, and again, maybe a fire sign, so maybe Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, he may not be his normal self. He may be impatient as well. And there may be like this cataclysmic change that, that disrupts the tower that involves him. Whether it's his doing or it happens with him, he's somehow featured as being involved. I'm getting for you, Gemini, that the water people, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, are going to be more beneficial for you than fire people. So people who are normally action-oriented, passionate, um... Uh, motivated, optimistic, enthusiastic, that might not be the best for you right now. It might turn you upside down. You may need to lean on people who are more like heart people or emotional people. They're the ones who are showing up in the in the right side up pro, um, position for you. So these could be like counselors, teachers, doctors, lawyers, I mean doctors, um, nurses, anyone who's in like a helping um, profession or has that personality. So that's kind of my reading for you, Gemini, for November. There's some interesting dynamics at play, especially regarding something, the home and an injustice, but you're, you're on this like healing path and it, you might be kind of like consumed in your mind and not feel like socializing, which is very 
unusual for you, but you may feel a little bit upside down right now for November. Don't worry, it's not going to last forever. You have some time to think things over, even though you might be a little impatient for those results to come about. But keep your eye open for, if you're involved with a king of wands type person, be aware that at the end of the month, he might not be acting like himself. And there might be like things that change. So just be ready for that, Gemini. And lean on your, your water sign people or your heart centered people. That's going to help you a lot this month. So that's my reading for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Gemini who you think might enjoy the message. And if you're interested in checking out my tarot course, um, it's a card a day. It goes through all of the major arcana. I'll have a link up here. It's through Daily Ohm.